Hello everybody and welcome back home. It's so nice to have you guys back. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. I definitely am. Man, we got it quite a bit last done last time, didn't we? We got our tanning going, we got some food stored up and away. I'm gonna need to do a little more hunting to get more red meat and to get some more hide to fill the barrels. These are gonna take quite a bit to cook up but once they get going we'll we'll have plenty of leather we'll make some backpacks and we'll have lots of storage backpack storage space i think it'll add four more so we'll have four full rows so today i was thinking about going down let me just open up my map here so i was thinking about one going and getting some more copper and f trying to find that tin and I also need to get some limestone. Now, I was told I don't need to stand by this here cairn crushing up the limestone. I could just use a hammer. I could have been doing that this whole time. To be fair, I only just started doing lime water, so I didn't spend too much time doing that. But it was time I could have spent doing other things. Anyways. <laughs> so, yeah. Our little storage. Look at that. Oh, one of those is 143 days. That's mm, yummy. Oh, some of our carrots are going. I think I'm going to leave those be for now because we got a bunch stored up. I do want to make some more storage vessels, but I'm not going to do that right now. Oh, and there's a little wolf. I was told that I can capture the wolf pups. That would be so nice. You know what? Let me... Ugh grab a bunch of these do i have any dirt on me i do not i have sand out of here <laughs> i think i want to take out those wolves really quick let's see where they're at though oh they're just on the other side right there can you guys see them i can see them i wonder if i can hit them from here oh maybe oh if i just aim a little better Ugh. Apparently not. I'm still a little far away. Oh, there we go. I think if it hits the ground, it, it hurts them less. Oops. Come on. Yeah, got him. I think I can get him. Oh, just about to be quick. Before he goes up. I don't know if I'll be able to hit him once he goes up a layer. Oh, I got him. <laughs> Nerds. That's what you get for getting a little too close. I feel like they are, they've are they been getting closer and closer, and I don't know how I feel about that. I think they started off in the trees way over there, but for some reason, they're trying to encroach on my territory. Get out of here. That's what you get. <laughs> so before I leave, I first off want to sleep, but I also want to craft myself uh, an iron pickaxe if I haven't already I don't think I did let me I'll, let me go check here after I pick up the bones and all that there we go alrighty so let me put this fat away and these raw hides that can go in here as well. Oh, I do have the beeswax. I was told that I can put uh, the beeswax or something into the crusher and it'll give me a candle. So, or the fruit press. I think it was a fruit press. Um, I do have a few candles already. Let's store this and the bush meat I'll have to put away too. I don't need the ax on me anymore, so I'll just lean you up there. Let me see if I did make myself. Oh, I did. Okay. Iron pickaxe. Do I want to take that with me? I think I'll just stick with the tin bronze pickaxe. Maybe I'll just hang on to it. I will take the prospecting pick though. One thing that I also down the line want to make is a mining backpack. I think that would be very useful, especially when we go on our mining trips. It gives us 10 storage spaces. But that's only for, it'll only let you put rocks and the like in it. 
so like lo rocks or so it is useful when you go mining it, it is a lot of storage space so whenever we dedicate time to go mining maybe it would be good to have multiple mining backpacks but then again your inventory does fill up relatively quickly so oh that was another thing i was told when you eat food even if it doesn't fill you up all the way sorry i gotta figure out where i put my bowl even if it doesn't fill you up all the way, it stops your your food from going down for quite a while. So it's better to just eat a bowl of food and then wait a bit until you see your food starting to drop and then you can eat again. Even if your bar doesn't go all the way to full. So I'll have to remember that. For now, we sleep. We go nighty night. <laughs> oh man. Ooh, boy, what a long day already. Man, it feels like I just started. Ugh, it's already time to sleep, huh? <laughs> okay, so I think I've got everything on me that I want. I'm going to keep the sling. I'm going to keep the spear. I'll probably leave the, the bucket here. I will take some stone. I know I'll probably get more. I'm going to keep some berries on me, too. Uh, was there any more grown over here? Probably not. No. That's fine. I I'll probably find some stuff along the way. Ooh, let's go. Oh, well, no, there there's some grown here. That's fine. I'll just grab these ones. Not efficient, but we're gonna save our big food for for when we're just sticking around the house in the winter time. I think I think he should be A-OK -okay eating just berries forever and ever. Well, maybe not. <laughs> All right, where's the door? Right there. Oh, I really should move that. <laughs> but we're good to go. Oh, is that what the sound is when it's raining? It's the sound of water hitting the window pane. I kept hearing that over in my house, and I couldn't figure out what the noise was coming from. Because it didn't look like it was raining, and it didn't look like anything was hitting it. So I wasn't sure. That must have been it. Hmm. Well, I've been learning new things. I'm, I'm going to try to edit up my thumbnails a little better, and I might backtrack and go and try to edit up the past ones. I'm trying to think of how I'm going to do it, but... I guess this is my trial run to, to figure out what I can do. What was that? Did you guys did you guys see a black speck shoot across the way? What was that? Or was that just me? Am I going crazy? I could be. <laughs> but but yeah, trying new things, learning new things. That's what we're about here. You guys get to join me on my my whole learning experience. <laughs> You guys can tell me what I'm doing right and tell me what I'm doing wrong. Hopefully I'm doing more things right than wrong. <laughs> but uh, how else are you going to learn if you don't mess things up every now and again? Right? <laughs> so I want to go and I want to get quite a bit more copper. Because I, I think I'm going to use copper to make the lanterns for a while and I feel like there was something else that I'm spacing on at the moment it never hurts to have extra copper around also want to get some tin so that we can make some tin bronze that would be very useful to have around I think oh you know what I probably should have brought some ladders and I probably should have brought my armor um well This was, see see what I mean? I, I, I forget. Now, where did I mark it? Did I make a staircase down here, though? This was for something. What, did, what was this for? Wasn't this for copper? Is that a drifter down there? Or is that just old stuff I threw out? Oh, that is just old stuff I threw out. All right, what was here? I forgot. I already forgot. Well, it's a good thing we got our prospecting pick to tell us what's here. Node search. What was it? Cassiterite. So that was trace amounts right here. 
See, I forgot this ladder was here, so now I don't have to bother going and building a ladder. Now I'm trying to figure out where on earth that copper was. Was it below? I can't I can't recall. That's on me. I should have remembered. I feel like it was a little deeper. Oh, did I have to dig up? Is that why? Oh. Well. I don't necessarily care for that, but I feel like I would have heard something if it was down here. Okay, so it looks like it, the copper was here. I wonder if there's any more. I feel like I must have mined it out pretty good if it looks like this, and I... Not sure. Let's find out. Native copper, medium amount. So it's here somewhere. It is, okay. Was it up? Or is it down? Hmm. Or is it like further in a line, you think? Let's see. Very large amounts. Okay, so it is this way. Okay, okay. But how far this way? Is it up or down? It is up. We have found it. <laughs> and just for the sake of being extra cautious, I'm just going to make it so that they can't get to me. They can throw rocks at me, but they cannot get up to me. <laughs> but yeah, what do you guys think about the design, the start of the, the kitchen that I'm working on? I like the front of it. I know it's going to take a bit more work on the inside. Did you guys hear that? Sound like somebody jumped into a swimming pool. Anyways. <laughs> Yeah, I like the design of the front of it. I don't know if I really expressed how I wanted to do the top or like the roof. I believe I'm going to keep it just flat. And I'm going to put a layer of dirt on the top of it, but make sure that the wall goes up enough and put like a fence, like the stone fence around the top and have it set up on top kind of like a mini garden. I think that would be cool, for, especially for a kitchen to have the crops growing on the actual roof itself. I thought the idea sounded cool, but we'll play around with the idea and see how it turns out. I definitely want to get to figuring out how to get a windmill going as well, because that is something that I've been meaning to, to work on and learn. I've never actually set up a windmill before, so that's all new to me. I'm sure it's not too complicated. Like once I get all the gears made, it's pretty, pretty intuitive and easy to figure out but until I get to that point we do not know oh another thing I want to do is I want to round to a few that I want to run around <laughs> so sorry to a few of the traders and I was told that they have a chance of carrying what's called black guard armor and I don't know how expensive that is I heard that it's pretty good or like the best armor or something I wouldn't know but that is what I was told and I will want to look and find out if that is the case so I'll probably try to hit up the trader along the way here after I leave okay let's see what we're working with here yeah see there it is again more water very large amounts okay so there's a bunch here we're, we're so good with mining I don't know how much I should grab while I'm here. I feel like I haven't gotten a whole awful lot. This this node is very angled. I think I found a few copper nodes before and they were pretty flat. And I don't know why this one is so diagonal. <laughs> right? Yeah, that's so odd. 
I mean, it's fine. It looks like there's plenty here. Well, I'm just worried about whatever that thing that we found before making a bunch of noise. Oh, that thing hurt my ears. It was freaky. I do not want to come across that again. At least not until I feel comfortably equipped in full armor. Alright. I'm going to need to go to the surface soon because my guy is getting a little scared. See if we can't find a little bit more copper somewhere. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, it's now just large amounts, but I guess it's better than nothing. This is the most confusing copper note I found. Oh, I missed some. Ugh. Huh. Yeah, I should probably get out of here soon. Let me mine up this last bit here and then I'll, I'll get out of here. Oop. There goes the tin bronze pick. It's a good thing I brought the other one. Oh, now it wants to kind of vein a little better instead of being diagonal. Okay, I see how you are. Ugh. The music is so unnerving, guys. I think that's the whole point of it, though. Oh, gosh. I know, I know I said I want to leave, but it's like, oh, just one more, just one more, just one more. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. That's it, that's it, that's it. I gotta go. I gotta mine up this piece here that I found, and then I want to get out of here. All right. Oh, gosh. And I know you guys can't hear it, but my heart is beating a little bit. A little bit. The music is so very unnerving. I do want to... Let's see. Um, I got quite a bit here. I think that's good enough for now, probably. And then I want to go mine up some tin bronze. Or not tin bronze, tin. And then I think it'll make the um, the copper go a little further, you know? There, now our gear's spinning forward quite a bit. Ah, we got down to 50%. That's not good. If it went down much further, we would have had an involuntary visit to Dave. <laughs> Ugh. I know one of these days I'll find myself a temporal gear. And then I'll be able to... Well... I think I need to use it to set my spawn point at my house. Oh yeah, there were particles that were flying by. It must have been like wind or something. But once I set my point at home, then I'll really need to save because I think you need six, six, I think, to get the portal going. I couldn't remember if it was three or six. All right. And I think I will spend a little bit of time here trying to find the tin again. Okay, so it went up, it looks like. So I wonder if it was in the walls here. Some more? Let me mine in a direction and then test the waters. Trace amounts. Okay. What if I did it like this? I'm just testing the directions to see if I can can catch a little more somewhere. It's not looking like I'm going to be able to. It looks like it's all just trace amounts. Mm. It means there's some somewhere, right? Oh, well, one right there. But that's not what I'm wanting. I'm wanting more. How dare you? 
Oh, looks like there was some copper that direction. Well, that's good to know. Let's see here. So we're here. It would probably actually be, hold on. That is decent and that is also decent. So what if I actually mine down to the south? Well, we'll see. And if anything bad happens, well, that's on me. <laughs> yeah, trace amounts of Cassiterite. Thankfully, we have a lot of durability on our pickaxe. Nope, native copper. Medium amount. So if we kept going that way, we'd actually find more copper. I mean, I guess that's better than no copper. I guess if I can't find a lot of tin, then just getting more copper is probably good. I gotta figure out which direction it is though. Up, down, left, right, I don't know. Mm -hmm. well, there's more, oh, lignite, cassiterite again. Okay, so if I keep going this way, maybe I'll just end up finding more, more tin. Because there's small amounts. You know what I should do instead? Instead of mining the rock in front of me, I should do it like this. Is it right? Medium, medium amounts. Well, that's good to know. That means I'm finding more tin somewhere here. I forgot how, so that's one. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, well. Might not be efficient, but small amount. So the cassiterite is this way, somewhere. Now let's see if it was over here. No, this way then? <laughs> it was, <laughs> look at that. I just, I, well, that works for me. Getting myself a lot of andesite too while I'm at it. Oh, that was it? Okay, no, it angled up. Good. That's what I like to see. A lot of anglage. Not a huge fan of that. Ugh, I have to be more careful still because. Yeah, this these veins are just. Very, very, very diagonal, like I said. Man. Any more? Mm -hmm. Found the phone. Cassiterite is medium. Okay, well, it's here somewhere, right? It says medium. Why am I having such a hard time finding it then. Okay, these veins are so weird, guys. I'm gonna be scratching my head about this one for a while. Trace amounts, oh, very large amounts of lignite though. What was lignite again? Lignite. Oh, it's just brown coal. Yeah, I don't really want that. Okay. Trace amounts. I'm so confused. Medium amounts. Is it up? Okay. Well, there's some. Oh, this vein is going to drive me crazy. Is that conglomerate? Okay. Oh, what gives? What gives, Tin? Do you just not like me? So you're hiding? <laughs> Man, 
All right. Trace amounts. Okay, well, I think we found all of the tin we're going to get here. I mean, really, that should be a decent amount to get us going with more tools if we really want. That's fine. We'll, we'll come back and find more later. I should probably really let my sanity go back up. I need to go down and get some more limestone before I head back home anyway. I need to get those barrels of limestone going. That way I can start soaking up some more hide. Which means I'm going to need to do a bit more hunting, too. Well, that's fine. We have plenty of time. I'm not worried about it. So the first trader is the treasure hunter trader. Let's go check him out. I'm not sure where to find that kind of armor. And I believe the treasure hunter trader also sells a map. If I'm not mistaken. I don't want those. And if anything, I can sleep in the bed and just sleep it off till morning anyway. Let's see what goodies he has. Oh, what happened to my map? I don't know what I did, but I lost my map in the upper right corner. I hit some, some button or something. Okay, treasure hunter trader. Ugh, that's going to bug me now. What is it? Controls, show, hide minimap. Oh, I don't know how I hit that button. It was FCX. Chickens! <laughs> Hi, friend. To math. Um, got anything to trade? Oh, I'm guessing this is what I'm looking for. 52 gears, though. Oh, he's also selling temporal gears. Treasure map. Is that the thing that I want to buy? The treasure map? Oh, he has new goods in a day. I don't I don't know. Five gears for a temporal gear? Hmm. I don't think I have 52 gears, though. I would want to buy that, but I think I need to figure out how to get gears first. It wouldn't let me break it. <laughs> Whatever, fine, dude. I didn't want I didn't want it anyway. <laughs> I'm still losing sanity. What's going on? Is that just a bad mojo area, I guess? <laughs> well, if it was above ground, the only thing I saw was the trader there. Did, I forgot. Was there any ruins around there? Maybe there's something below it. Woo! Look at that. Don't want to go down there. Well, you know what? How about this? I think this is safe here. Let me just mine this. It's out on the surface. I don't need to go down anywhere. This is good enough, I think. You guys are probably cringing on the inside that I'm using an iron pick to do this. Hey, we know where more iron is. I'll go get more if I really need it. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Plus, we have this up here that we haven't really searched. It says there's poor magnetite somewhere. So I just have to explore further, and I'll find another node here close by to those locations. We're fine. Uh, probably going to need to cook up did I make multiple crucibles to cook up ore in it'd be nice to kind of get it all going however I only have the two molds for making iron bars or not iron bars for just making me metal bars in the first place so I might want to cook up some more at some point eh, I probably should oh I'm out of space this is that point where that mining backpack would come in really handy okay how much more should I grab probably enough for three stacks it should be good for now 
Cause, well, no, four, because I have the four barrels. So maybe I should get four stacks. That way I can at least fill all four barrels. That is the right call. Ooh, uh, oops. <laughs> I slipped. I slipped off the rocks. Oh, ah. Uh. So, so what do you guys think of these uh, long, long videos, the long plays, like just, just showing all of the footage that I can. You guys like that? Is that the preferable method? I'm not entirely sure. I know some people like shorter, but I think a lot of you also play the game while you guys are watching, right? So it's nice to have the longer videos to have someone to play with. I think that's what I would personally prefer. It makes sense, right? It's like it's like playing along with someone, having a friend to play with, yeah. Cuz if they were just cutting to all the juicy bits, they're going to get all the way to the end of the game and you're still going to be in the early stages. Sir, I'm going to borrow your bed. It smells a little bit, but it's not mine, so I can't complain. So it'll be nice to have all this andesite. I'm going to need to go and dig up some more, some more clay. That way I can turn it all into, into bricks for our, for our houses. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be making the forge out of brick as well. Did I dig down? I probably did. It's fine. The new forge. I keep saying the forge. Yeah, the, the new forge area eventually. I'm going to have to go and dig that all out. And that'll be a process because it's going to be a pretty big area. Plus, I have to go to the top of the mountain or that little hill over there, and I have to decide where I want to dig down to have the gears set up. Am I suspicious of this? For a reason. <laughs> I am. Look at that. See? I can I I see it and I can be like, oh, this is gotta be something. It was. I'll make it blue like that. I think that's what I did with the other ones. Meteoric iron. Ta-da! Oh, I think I just put the stars. Ah. Uh, yeah. Let's just make them all the same. See? Look it! <laughs> I can point them out now. Are you guys happy? Are you guys proud of me? That I'm learning? I, I've, I'm picking things up. I know things now that other people wouldn't. I know when I see a hole, there's probably a meteorite under it. And that time, I was right. The suspicions paid off. I'm going to be a pro here before too long, man. I've gotten pretty far. I don't know how much more stuff I need to learn. Here before too long. Yeah, I won't be able to call myself a newbie. I'll be a pro like all of you guys. Oh, that'll be a sad day. It means I'm growing up. I don't want to grow up. That means I'll have responsibilities. That means I'll have to help others. But no, that's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. <laughs> There's so many people that are that are enjoying the game now. Oh yeah, was this the hole that I jumped down and, and the sand poured out of it? I think it was so long ago. Man, that feels like ages ago. Look at our home off oh wait, no, that's the that's the secondary. Oh yeah, that'll look so nice once we get that done. I think that is a good spot. I mean, we're coming back and forth through these valleys here so often. Doing some traveling and exploring. Okay, so treasure map. That thing said treasure map. I want to know where that leads to. 
Do you guys think I should go and grab that? I think I'm going to. I want to know where the treasure goes to. Let me drop off the stuff first, and I'll run all the way back and grab it for you guys. Um, I need to figure out where I want to store this stuff first. I think I'm going to store this limestone inside of the chest that I have for all the leather. That seems reasonable. I mean, we're going to be using it for it anyway, right? And then all the andesite can go out here inside of the andesite stone crate. How much did we get? We got quite a bit there, didn't we? I guess we were doing a little bit of digging, trying to find ourselves some tin. Oh yeah, I did make a chest here. Um, copper's doing all right. Break that up. Yeah, we got quite a bit. Um, I'm happy with that. It's not a whole awful lot, but there's three stacks of it now. How much uh, actually did I get of the considerate? Oh, okay. So there's there's plenty. Okay, so there's definitely enough to make quite a bit. It's a nice little amount we got there. Uh, where is my gears? <sighs> Only 40 gears. Yeah. Well... I don't know how to get gears other than going down into caves and I, I don't really have the expertise to do so. Like sure I can make the copper bar or the copper armor but it's not too useful for, for go like like the one guy just one tapped me when I was wearing the to be fair I was just wearing the chest piece. Is the ground changing colors? I feel like the ground is changing colors. It looks kind of splotchy. Huh. How far out was it? Yeah, this is quite the run, but I think it's worth it. I'll get the map, and then we'll see what it leads to. I don't know how they work in this game. I wonder if it'll put a marker on my map or if it'll lead me to some coordinates or if it works similar to the other blocky game where it shows your position in reference to the map hmm not sure So I gotta ask, what is your guys' biggest build? Have you guys built any cool like castles or cities or villages? I'm sure in vanilla it might not be as easy since I'm sure you have to use a lot of like chiseled blocks to make things extra special. That's why once I get to the point of using mods, I'm going to have to ask you guys which mods you guys like to use the most. I know you guys have recommended a bunch to me. There's one that I really want to try. It's a, it's a, what was it? Shoot, an RPG mod where you can like level up and stuff. That sounds so much fun to me. There were a few mods like that that I used to play back in the day for... For the other block game and man those were those were a lot of fun are the rpg mods i think it was like heck heck oh i don't even remember the name hexit or tech tech it uh that could be entirely wrong i've forgotten <laughs> it's been it's been so long but they had some really good ones back in the day <laughs> Got anything to trade? Yes, you got the map. Oh wait, scroll. Oh, that's what I'm looking for. So I want a scroll. Thank you. I also want the map. So you have 40, to map has 32. Okay, so I can sell stuff to him too. I don't have that. I do have the sacks, but I don't really want to sell those. If I had 10 bronze shovels, but he'd only buy one. Oh, it looks like wolf pups sell for quite a bit. Yeah, that's one thing that I definitely need to do. 
Okay. Let's get out here and see how this works. Approximate location of buried treasure. No! Uh-uh. Well... <laughs> that was a waste. Unless there's a different spot, but that says approximate. Ah, uh, I just wasted money, didn't I? Well, that's what I get, I guess. Discovered lore. The morning. Okay. Journal. The morning. Are you guys... Are you guys ready for some light reading? It's only a 2 out of 5, so it's not the full story yet, but... But here we, here we go. Ahem. <clears throat> Gather around, gather around. This is a story to get you through the long, cold night when it comes for you, like it has this night for us. Do you think we were the first to feel the cold? The first to see the ghosts wandering through the night? No! This has been happening since my grandfather's era. Since the time before that! I'll tell you about when it began. When Bearforth, the first of us, saw the protector light go dim, and realized she was not alone in the forests. There was a time before this one, when the world was dark. There was nothing out there, no light, no trees, no birds or music. What horror! A great miasma of nothingness. Can you imagine such a place? Through this emptiness, a woman crawled, alone, starving, lost. She only knew suffering, only knew pain and grief. But she continued living because she did not know of any other path. One day, she dreamt of great storms, trembling earth, turning wheels, and she woke to a new world. One of vibrance, of light, beautiful light, and beautiful green. Here now were the birds and beasts, the fruit and grains, the winding rivers and the great horn mountains. Where before there was nothing, now there was wonder all around. She was the first to walk our world, our home. Thus she came to know joy. But when the sun left the sky and the night fell over the land, over the new land, she heard whispers, the groans, the crunching footsteps of those abominable shades that haunt us still. She then came to know fear, and a dreadful fear it was. She fled into the dirt and the quiet places. Deeper down she went, hounded by the foul voices, until she came upon something hidden and strange. There, in the dark, she found herself in the presence of a god. Interesting. Not too sure what all that means. I'm sure it meant something. I'm sure we'll get more context once the once the story is fully unlocked. Ooh, is there something under here or was I already here? I might have already been here. Yep, I dug it out already. Well, it was worth double checking. Well, cool. We found a little bit more lore and we'll, we'll have to figure out what that means at some point. Ugh. <laughs> uh. But again with the darkness, or something about miasma, we'll learn more one day. I guess I have to keep buying more scrolls. Okay, let's unmark that. I, I, unfortunately, it didn't really do anything for us. It just showed us where the translocator was. Hey. You know what? You can make fun of me or, or tell me not to do that all you want, but let's, listen, I learned. I now know. <laughs> I'm sure that's not always the case. I'm pretty sure I just got unlucky there. That's okay. That's fine. What was this? This is more fire clay. Fire clay. Nope, not a cave entrance. There. Well, I wonder if this will go into the bookshelf. I don't think it will. Is there like a... 
Okay, there is a scroll scroll rack. Boards and nails, though. Hmm. Well, we did get more iron and stuff. Uh, I do need lead. Why don't I just grab this while I'm here? More lead is good, I think. Yeah, I see him down there. Um, I'm just gonna be careful. I'm not too worried about them. They're not. I don't think they're too scary where they're at. I don't think they damage me too much, so I should be okay. And this will be good for more windows anyway, so we're gonna need plenty of windows. I still don't... Yeah, he's getting closer. It's a deep drifter. Yeah, go away. Stop bothering us. We're busy. We're too busy. I like how we can just... Ouch. Crawl up the blocks there. Why did it sound like there was another one? Stop it. Gosh, that hurt. I really need to get healing. I really should have brought my... <laughs> I really should have brought some other stuff. My armor and stuff. Oh, well. Flax fibers? Well, we're going to get plenty of those soon. Whatever. So what other ores should I be looking for? I know I still need to find the, the borax. I haven't done that. Maybe next time... I'll go look for that, but I, I don't know if I could do that right now. I mean, I still haven't really made a whole lot of iron things anyway. And I don't really have a bunch of iron stocked up. Well, I have, I guess I do have a bit of bloom. I do need to cook up a bunch more fire clay, uh, the bricks, so that I can make more bloomeries. It would be nice to get a bit more glass going and to definitely get more iron going. Once I actually go and mine some more. I think I cooked up all the iron that I had. So. We'll need to make a trip. This is just kind of turned into another ore mining trip. But hey. These resources are necessary for the development of our home. Okay. It might take us a minute to go and get it all. But it'll be worth it. I saw the pieces drop and I want all the pieces. Is there anything further down here? Yeah, there is, but I don't like all those noises. I, I, I know better. I know better than to just taunt, taunt the dark, deep cave. Whew. I guess I can grab some of the quartz while we're here. Or if there's only just the, yeah, well, I guess I didn't want to get, <laughs> I guess I didn't want to get it. <laughs> Oh, it's doing some weird funky stuff again where it's spawning in a obnoxious way. Here's a decent vein. It looks like this is going to be small. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh. There's two layers, apparently. That's a okay. I'm wondering how many torches I'm gonna need, or not torches, lanterns I'm gonna need down the line. It will take a lot of beeswax as well. Do I just need to put those into the press? Is it a fruit press I need to use? I think I think that's what I was being told. It, it's worth it to try it. Once we get home, I will try to compress the beeswax. Unless I don't, unless you need like multiple pieces. Um, I don't know really how much of this I should grab. I think what I've got should be fine for a while. It better be. Don't want to make this trip again for a while. I can if I have to. <laughs> 
I'm sure once I get to building and I realize, oh, I don't have enough resources of anything. I'm sure that'll be the case. A lot of building projects. Oh, is there any other kind of building you guys want me to build? Like, even just for fun, I could build some fun buildings that really have no uses. And someone was saying that the interior of my house is... Well, they didn't say it was lacking. What they did say was that that one wolf pick painting was really pulling everything together. So, I didn't know if that was an insult to my interior decorating skills. No, oh, the rooster. Oh, oh, oh. I did say I wanted to take out a bear. So that is what I will do. How many of these do I need? Ugh. Yeah, you see me? You can't get me from up here. <laughs> yeah. Take that. Take it. Yes. This is taking more than I thought it would. I mean, I guess that makes sense, but. Did I get it? Ha ha. Thou has been vanquished. <laughs> Look at him. Look at you, Goofy. Look at the big, oh, that's a huge pelt. Wow. Okay. Five days, oof. Hold on, can I make, hold on, I, I'm kind of, kind of curious. Let me check something out, out once I get home. I feel like I can, but I don't know what it would look like. Or if I could, well, you'll see, you'll see what I'm thinking once I get there. Once I get there. When I get there, you better be ready to rock steady. That one's old. <laughs> Man, we used to listen to them. Uh, oh, boy. When we were a lot younger, we used to drive up to go to go to the lake to go swimming. Well, we had some rivers that went by that we had to drive to to get to. We actually swim in those. Some of them had actually deep pits that we jump off of rocks and jump into the pools of water. Oh, that was that was fun. Don't know if I do it now. I was a little more reckless when I was younger, but now that I'm a little older, I'm hmm, not so inclined to jump off of high places. <laughs> Even if I know I'll be perfectly safe. Okay, so what I was thinking was... So that is a pelt that is large. <gasps> I can! Okay. Wait, what about this, I wonder? Because this would probably look better. A soaked hide. Oh, well... That definitely looks better. So what if I had... A soaked large or huge pelt can i place that down yeah look at that what if i had that on the ground hold on okay so it oh there we go but it would have to be like under the bed hold on can i do that let me check so i have the bed there so if i had this and i placed it there and then I had the bed, and I could... Oh, that did not work. <laughs> Oops. Another block is... Yeah, no. See, I can't do that. So, that's a bummer. I can at least do it like that, though, where I have it at, like, the foot of the bed. Well, even still, it would probably be better just laid out like this. I probably need a couple. Hold on, can I actually make carpet? Oh, you can. How do you do that? Carpet. Carpet. 
Carpet. No. Uh, it's not going to tell me. Obtained by breaking small black carpet. Okay, so there's places. And I can buy that. I can buy the brown carpet. Blue carpet. Okay, so there's, there's only a few that I have to find. Don't know where that would be. Okay, so... That is weak tannin. All of those are weak tannin. These are just water. Those are also tannin. So I want to... One, two, three, four. Okay, I think that's enough. Which side do I want to put it on? Probably the the heavy here, right? It will turn into strong tannin. That's 24 hours. One, two, three, four, five. Oops, seal that. Then one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I got five extra. There we go. For some reason, I thought I had five, but I actually only had <laughs> the four. There we go. Let's put the gears away. I do... Uh, well, I don't want all this conglomerate stone on me. Go uh, away. Thank you. I want to... What did I do with... Oh, yeah. It's in, it's in here. One, two, three, four. Because I think I need 50 pieces. So I'm going to need to... Oh, I had it on me in the first place. 64, 64. Hold on, let me do the extra here. That way I, I know I have enough. Then that's, so 50, 50 and 50. And then let's do that. Oh, <laughs> I'm so bad at this. 50. 50. 50 and so that's 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 there we are and let me just hang this up here and i will put the limestone in the water like so now i need to put Two, I can put three. Okay, well, I'll just do that. Did I have any more hides? Rawhide, rawhide. Well, I'll just cook up what I got here. That's fine, we have that extra. We have those sealing up, we have that. Oh, do I put the soaked into the, the heavy tannin, huh? Hold on, let me look it up. Oh wait, I can just check here. Leather, leather is from putting prepared hide. And I get prepared hide by getting scraped hide. The scraped hide is from soaked. Oh, so th this here, I need to take the knife and put it like so. And there we go, that's four scraped hide. And I'm guessing I put that into prepared hide. I put it into Scraped hide into weak tannin. I am so confused. Wait, so did I not have... Oh, there's four prepared hide in there. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So scraped hide will go into the barrel. Seal that. Um, what was it? What did I need to do with that? Prepared hide is an ingredient for the leather. Okay, how do I get the leather? So I put it with the long, the strong tannin. Okay, and that is cooking for another 24 hours. And we've got time. Let's put that in here. Um, lead ingot. Can I, I wonder, can I? Lead. Can I make nails out of lead? No, I didn't think I could. It was worth checking. I didn't want to have to cook up some other stuff. Okay, what am I doing wrong? 
What is the different here? Oh, it's work item. What did I do wrong? Oh boy. How did I how did I mess that up? Oh boy. I don't know what to do with that. I'm not working it. Ugh, that sucks. I shouldn't have done that, I guess. <laughs> what I'm just messing everything up. Put the torch away. Ugh. At least I have some food. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No more food there. Well, these are all sealed. I don't want to. I don't want to open those up. Fresh for a year. Fresh for a year and 93 days. Yeah. Well, that's dry mush. Oh, look it. Well, at least our rot is going nice and strong. <laughs> oh, goodness. Let's go check on our... Mm, that's right. These crops are getting ready. Uh, I'm going to go check on my other crops. I also want to check on the beehives because I feel like it's been long enough that they might be good to go. Okay, looks like our spelt's mature. Our, our flax is getting so close. And that's the one that I'm really waiting for. Large. That's harvestable. That's large. That's harvestable. So let's just get these. Yep, yep. Was that everything? And then you. Was that everything? I think it was. Was it the two clay? Where did it? Oh, it did not drop the clay. <laughs> I like how I said last time it dropped the clay and this time it just did not give me any. Oh, well, plenty of honeycomb. I'm, I'm going to need to go get some more reeds, too. Let's see. I think it's 16 per. So I'm going to need to get 32. 15, so 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, wait. One must have dropped a multiple. Or I just don't know how to count. Oh, I didn't want the roots. I, I'm sorry, I took your roots. I didn't need those. Man, we're doing a lot of running around and gathering resources today. We didn't really accomplish much, but hey, gathering resources is needed. We need those. We need as much as we can get. I haven't seen a portal in a while, which is good. I like not seeing any portals. Oop. One, two, three, four. And then I think it's one, two. Cool. So we got those ready. I got to figure out what I did with my beeswax. I think I stored it away somewhere. I had to have. Let's just place these skeps back down. I didn't get attacked by any bees this time, which was quite nice. Oop. Looks like those are almost ready. Yeah, nice. How are these tree cuttings doing? Still a chance? Still waiting to see if they'll grow? Might take a while, but they'll get there. All in due time. What did I do with the wax? It's right there. I feel like I should have had more, no? Like when I squeezed the honeycomb into the barrel before? I was told I can make jam by cooking the honey in the wooden bucket. Or no, cooking the honey and the berries together. Sorry. Okay. I think I can just squeeze the honey into the barrel here. Oh, that's right. I think I used the beeswax to seal up some containers. Okay, so beeswax used to make candles. Oh, I just used three. Well, 
let's make a couple of candles for now. Okay, so that's simple. That's nice and simple. I think I'm going to put the beeswax in here, though, because I am going to be using that a lot to store up all these. Um, I do want to get this row and probably this upper row cooked and going. I have so much of these crops here. Yeah, well, the meat's just going to have to spoil. I'm when I Yeah, I'm going to have to go and do some more hunting later. But that's okay. We, that's okay. I'm going to need all the leather, too. So, a little bit of patience goes a long way. This was sealed for three hours out of three days. So, that's going to take a while. That's got to turn into strong tannin. Hey, but once we get our first bits of leather, that's going to feel really nice. <laughs> oh, I believe that was another thing. I think I can make... Hold on. I think I need to make fur coats, knee-high fur boots, and fur gloves. Which takes a knife and... Oh, oh, okay. One, two, three to make that. Well, let me let me just grab some. One, two, three, I think it's said of the large pelt, right? And then I take a knife and it's one, two, three to make a fur coat. Oh, what was it? No, not those. Was it one, two? No, hold on. H can make the fur gloves. Oh, so it's one, two, one, two of the small. Oh, but, or the medium. Okay, so I take the knife. And I take oh, the two pelts, like so. That's the gloves. Okay. And I need a pa the pants. Oh, it's like that. Okay, so it's similar to the gloves. It's just... Do I have my door shut? I do. Whew, okay. Uh, okay, fur coat, knee-high fur boots, fur gloves. Yeah. And then how do I make a mannequin again? Or it's an armor stand. Oh, it's the hay and then the boards. I don't like those guys out there. I'm just going to sleep. I'm gonna make this last uh, armor stand. I'm gonna put the fur armor, or well, fur material on it. And then I will, ooh, I should probably repair my clothing. I think I could do that with just string, right? Or maybe not. Oh, these guys, look at, I can see them better outside the windows now. Ooh, no thank you. Why are there so many here? You guys are not welcome here. These guys decided to throw another party, I guess. Oh, he's still trying to get in. Apparently, the sunlight does not bother them at all. <laughs> Ugh. Why are you still here? Oh, I guess... Oop, I didn't want to take that. I was, I, I was going to say, I guess to be fair, I do need to, to get them killed. This is not a hot tub. You guys should not be here. Get out. Go away. You shouldn't be here. You too. Shoo. Shoo! <laughs> Down into the hole you go. You too. All right, I think that's all of them. Any gears? Any gears? That's what we're looking for. <laughs> Just dropped right down into the hole. Ah, well, that's fine. Tis what it is. Let's place. Yeah, see, I'm I'm all disorganized. What am I doing? Let's put the candles away. I do want some more grass. I think I need two more pieces. Do that. 
Then I need one, two, three, four, five boards. Is it like that? Like that. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yay, we did it. We did it. We did it. Let's place you there and let's put that on there. Oh! I can't put those on. Oh. Well, I guess we'll just put them in the chest here. Bummer deal. I thought I could. Turns out I can't. <laughs> uh, what else was there? Uh, I don't know if I should hold on to the scroll or not. And I believe... How do I make... Is it... No. How do I repair? Let's just try a sewing kit. That's what we need. Flax twine, sewing... Okay, and a stick. I know I had a bunch of it here. Let's just try it out. Why not? Uh, three. I don't know how many of these I need. I probably am making too much. But I do know that... Let's take off my shirt here. Put a piece there with you. Oh! I just st stick it on it. It made it 75%. Oh, well, that's good to know. Well, that'll help out my temperature for now. But it looks like you do need quite a bit of them. Let's see. I'm probably wasting all this, but I, I'm going to be getting a bunch here before too long anyway. So make fun of me again all you want. I'm just going to keep doing it. The more you make fun of me, the more I'm going to do it. <laughs> okay there we go and let's stick the rest of it in here and then let's see what else can I repair my scarf my gloves um I think that's it oh and that okay well I did repair quite a bit and that is beautiful but, uh, yeah, I think that'll just about do it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed all of the gathering. We're, we're making steady progress. And we're, we're just that much closer to, to reaching our true goals of eventually finding out where the boss is. But we've got to make sure that we're all geared up first. So I think next time I'll really get to work on getting these bloomeries going. Like I said, I wanted to get some cooked up, but that'll have to wait until next time. So thank you for joining me again today. And without further ado, I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.